Every traditional Japanese house had one special room, the most important in the house, and that was the honorable toilet. This was for washing your hands after you'd been to the toilet because the toilet was very clean using this wonderful paper of Japan for the first toilet paper. So why was it so important? Well, economically, it was the central point in the Japanese economy in some ways because growing rice, you needed to fertilize the rice and there weren't many animals, so you needed human excrement and urine for the rice cultivation. And so they built the first beautiful toilets in the world to lure the Japanese into helping their rice production and recycling energy. So the Japanese invented the most beautiful oriental toilets, whereas England was famous for throwing away, wasting all this energy. But on the other hand, in order to waste it efficiently, they developed the water closet, one of the greatest British contributions to civilization. The beauty of the toilet was shown in a novel by Tanizaki, or a book by Tanizaki, in which he described how the Japanese love the toilet because it's often built traditionally with a, a view of a garden. So you came in there, you relaxed, you contemplated, you brought a little notepad, you wrote a poem or two, contemplated life and the stresses and difficulties of life, and then with a, a sense of uh, feeling that you had contributed to the Japanese economy as well, you could leave for your day's work. In this uh, toilet, you could look out on a beautiful garden. The great Japanese novelist Tanizaki describes how Japanese used to come into this quiet place, contemplate nature, perhaps write a poem, a haiku, while they were sitting in the toilet. And then, having satisfied themselves physically and aesthetically, they could leave with a sense of satisfaction that, as well, they had contributed to the agriculture of Japan.